Welcome back to Wolfworks. I'm West, and if you've stumbled upon this video, then pal. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking view. Um, to all my subscribers, again, thank you. I know I keep saying that with every video, but I really do mean it. Thank you for uh, watching. And this isn't really a review or anything. This is just more of, I guess, kind of an unboxing or... A little teaser of what's coming up soon um, as you can see I got two stocks I have a b5 stock it's not really the sop mod it's they're kind of weird not weird but little miniature sop mod and I have an actual sop mod clone um, I'll go into that later but it's more based on the sop mod than the b5 is and that was my fiance's hamster flipping over her food um, anyways and this is my personal stock in my AR. This is BADS. Um, if you know what this patch is from, you can probably understand why I call her BAD and what her full nickname is. Um, if not, well, you know, you'll hear it later. But here's what we got. Something from Magpul, right? I'm going to be honest here. It's not really an unboxing. I already opened it up already. Um, yeah, I don't like surprises. Um, I'm not a patient guy sometimes when it comes to stuff in the mail. So, sorry, I already went through this, but just for the sake of it, let's open her up. We got our paperwork. That should be a clue. We got our diameter, commercial, mil spec, I'm sorry, mil spec commercial, blah, blah, blah. We got the best thing of all, Magpul stickers. I love these stickers. Um... Not a huge, huge like fanboy of Magpul. Um, I can deal with that, their tactical um, advertisement. However, I, you know I understand it's made for them and whatnot, and I respect that. But I, I don't see it as a tactical need for me, more as a usefulness and their um, practicality to what they give the shooter in general. Just a low cost. Um, all around good product anyways so it's the Magpul MOE Mo um, SL I don't know what SL stands for but it doesn't say it anyways um, when I bought this I only saw it offline or online and uh, I didn't really have a good idea what it was gonna look like um, and these, this is why I have these other stocks out here. Is personally, I thought the uh, slant was going to be more geared towards SOP mod. Um, but in reality, and it's more, it's even thinner than the uh, B5. Uh, both me and Bad like these angled stocks. Uh, it gives us a good cheek weld. Um, versus just kind of a narrow end or a narrow surface however what i will give this credit to is that it's not light or it's not the lightest it is pretty light it's lighter than the b5 this clone it's pretty light so i can't really give it a fair judgment uh it's somewhere in the middle and what i really like about it is this butt pad it's rubber or polymer or something i, I just bought it I flat out bought it because I thought it was going to give me the features I wanted to, so I didn't research it as well as I should have. Anyways, what I like about it is it doesn't snag on clothing when you try to shoulder it, but it does give you enough grip to where it'll stick on you on the back. And then usually, and you'll see other people do this too, uh, they'll tape off the sides. No need here. It's perfectly slick and smooth. Well, not smooth, but slick enough to pass through clothing, but grips enough on the back end. Another key thing, and as Bad mentioned it, she does have muscular dystrophy, and sometimes some features are just a little bit too hard to operate normally. Um, that's, you know, a strength thing. So one thing I, like, totally just awesome feature about the stock is the minimal effort you need to move the stock. Um, I know I don't have it mounted. We mounted it on her rifle. She tried it. She loved it. This takes 
a substantial amount of force, uh, more so than your standard AR. Yeah, that ain't happening with me. Um, the Chinese one, more like a, not Chinese, sorry. Um, actually, I think this thing's made in Hong Kong. Uh, you know, it's fairly easy. So that's one thing I like. There's a lot of positive um, gripping area on both sides. So left, right, doesn't matter. It looks cool. It's got the um, swivel stud adapter. So does the B5. Old top mod style doesn't. You have to buy the uh, adapter for it. Anyways, you got your sling points. Everything else you would in a normal, or what you would expect out of Magpul stock. Um, so it not being as wide as I thought it would be. Am I happy? Am I mad about it? Uh, I'm I'm leaning more towards the win still. Um, not what I wanted, but it it's still enough for me not to. Even, I wouldn't say not to bother returning it, but enough for me to give it its fair shot and use it pretty well. So, yeah, that's our little teaser. Uh, I won't go over what we're building yet. Um, I will say it is using a mil-spec buffer tube, and that does not give any clues whatsoever in the world of firearms and what AR components you can stick on everything else in the world. But, yeah, there's that for now, and I might drop off some little hints, and we're going to have a pretty fun video for you guys later on. Stick around. All right, catch you in the next one.